coming to the composition of portland cement the portland cement contains the following composition lime that is calcium oxide 63.5% silica that is sio2 22.5% alumina in the form of al2o3 7.5% magnesia in the form of magnesium oxide 2% iron in the form of ferric oxide fe2o3 2% sulfur trioxide so3 1% and alkali oxides such as na2o and k2o that is sodium oxide and calcium oxide is about 1.5% so this is the composition percentage of a portland cement manufacture of portland cement The manufacture of Portland cement involves following four steps. The first step is mixing of raw materials. Second step is burning of raw materials. Third step is chemical reactions taking place during the burning up of raw materials. And the fourth step is grinding and packing mixing up of raw materials mixing up of raw material can be done by the following two process that is either by a dry process or by a wet process manufacture of cement by dry process in the dry process raw materials like limestone and clay are crushed separately in a different gyratory crushers into a small size of roughly 2.5 cm pieces then these pieces are subjected to ground into a fine powder in a ball mill or in a tube mill and these ingredients are stored separately in a separate hoppers the ball mill and the tube mill means they contains a iron balls such system is called as ball mill and iron tubes such system is going to be called as a tube mill where the raw materials are subjected into a fine pieces of 2.5 cm that is in a ball mill and in a tube mill if once the raw materials are converted in the form of a small pieces then these pieces are ground into a fine powder in a ball mill or in a tube mill and these ingredients are stored separately in a separate hoppers then the powdered raw materials are mixed in a required proportion and stored in a storage machines and is ready for fed in a rotatory kill that is burning up of the raw material which is carried out in the second step 
coming to the second process that is wet process the raw materials limestone are crushed powder and stored in a big storage tank called silos other raw material clay is mixed thoroughly with water and washed then stored in a tank called silos powdered limestone and wetted clay are allowed to flow in a canal in a required proportion and subjected to grinding in a grinding mills to get a homogeneous paste called slurry the chemical composition of the raw material is adjusted if necessary finally the slurry is ready for feeding into a rotatory kiln that is for burning which comes in the second step of the manufacture of the cement